In my next hookup, I found a remarkable volunteer organization that's having an immense impact on the kids that play sports in New York City. For over 60 years, the Youth Service League has been helping New York City kids get off the streets and into organized sports. No matter how disadvantaged they are or how recently they've immigrated into the country, the volunteer program helps provide sports equipment, discipline, and educational assistance, including a path to college. The baseball program has become legendary, and now young athletes across the city compete for a spot on the team based out of Brooklyn. The YSL baseball team has produced 70 professional players, 17 of which made it to the major league. These include names like Manny Ramirez and New York Yankee pitcher Dylan Patances. It was Dylan and his agent that suggested to me the YSL for a hookup. Dylan wanted to get the kids new equipment and I knew just where to go. For the best sports equipment on the market, you gotta go to Moe's. Founded in New York City in 1889 by Morris Modell, Modell Sporting Goods is America's oldest family owned and operated retail of sporting goods in America. And Mitch Modell, the great grandson of the founder and CEO of the franchise is someone I'm really proud to call a friend. When I told him what we wanted to do, he invited us to the flagship store across from the Barclays Center for something every young athlete, every parent of an athlete dreams of, a free shopping spree at Moe's. We just got these in for the kids. That's awesome. So why don't we load up your baby? All right, first. You sign a couple of baseballs for the kids? Oh, of course. Great. I wish I had this when I was playing. <laughs> this is my favorite, the Bronx Bombs. This is what it's all about. This is awesome, man. These kids are going to be excited. While Mitch is in a good mood, we need to hit this store hard. <laughs> we need to load up. Point some more stuff for these kids. Yeah, we need to load up. Where, where are we going now? Why don't we hit the uh, baseball section? Perfect. Take some of these as well, huh? I feel like it's Christmas all over again. At 18, Dylan was six feet, eight inches. He always towered above the competition. When I first started with youth service, I, you know, I was 13. I went for tryouts and trying out as a shortstop. Believe it or not, trying as a shortstop. They're like, man, this is the tallest shortstop we've ever had. So. <laughs> was that your first choice, though, pitching after, after the shortstop thing didn't work out? Or were you maybe first base? I, I did a little bit of both. So infield pitch and then they moved me to first base. They were like, well, this is a big target, so first base is your, your position. Now, let's see if we could get some gloves for some of these kids and, you know, make put some smiles on their faces, huh? Where's the catcher mitts? This one right here. Hey, when you need a tall guy, just let me know. I'll be here. <laughs> So let's go meet them. I'd love to see the kids. Let's go. We loaded up the equipment. I think we're good to go, guys. And we were on our way. We drove our way down to American Legion ball fields in Canarsie. And once we got there, Dylan spotted his old coach and mentor, Mel Zitter. What's up, bro? Damn, man. Hey, man. Good. Mel is well known in New York City athletics for being a youth service league leader who provides kids amazing opportunities if they're able to survive his rigorous and demanding training methods. We're here to help. Dylan explains the reason for his surprise visit and finally it's time for the hookup. Yeah. Well, with the help of Mitch and Brandon and a lot of people in the era, you know, we uh, decided to go to motels and pick out a lot of stuff for you guys. and. You know, we have the truck right here, and you know, it's uh, Christmas in July. It's Christmas in July. All right, well, our goal is to try to go into different situations and really kind of give a little bit of a boost. You know, guys like Mel are unsung heroes. So we got together with, in my mind, one of the greatest retailers in the place I buy all my sporting good stuff, Mitch Modell. And also, we went to New Era, who no question makes the best hats. And we put together what I call a full hookup, which will include starting with New Era, a special edition hat that he designed with Dylan for your all to wear. And then Mitch, well, we went a little crazy. And we got a bunch of new uniforms, T-shirts, hats, all kinds of stuff that Mitch was grateful and, and nice enough to donate. This is what it's all about, giving back. And, you know, I'm happy to be here where this is the roots for me. And, you know, for you kids, it just inspire you guys to continue to work hard, listen to your parents, 
and uh, obviously coaches and you know it's a dream come true for me I grew up in New York you guys are from New York and I'm playing for the Yankees so there's no better feeling and you know obviously I'm happy here to give back and you know I just want you guys to enjoy it. surprise right out of the gate and New Era has been extremely generous here just to kind of kick in a little bit of extra money we were able to get a check in the amount of ten thousand dollars who are the catchers out here let me see the to see these kids, the, the smiles on their faces it was unbelievable. You know, and you're talking about nine-year-old kids that now, because of that, I feel would continue playing baseball and would want to become a baseball player for, for seeing Dylan come back and give to them. That was awesome because some guys go come out of youth service and sign and they don't get nothing back, and that was great what he did. I think that was a beautiful thing. That was a beautiful thing. I wish I was able to do that because I would, you know, because uh, Youth Service League I used to play for and they helped me out. Doesn't matter that we come, you know, from a poor neighborhood. Um, if you work hard and you dedicate yourself to what you love, great things will come out of it. I couldn't have said it better myself.